super fun channel. Um, today I'm going to show you um, holiday sewing and knitting gift giving ideas. So I have a lot, so I'm just going to get to it. So first off, if you have a um, a person who's a knitter, you can make them project bags. So this one's made out of flannel and it has dinosaurs on it, and it's a drawstring bag. This one has monkeys, and it also is a drawstring, and it's lined. Those are, these, all of these projects, I'm going to show you, I made all of these, so. Another is a beret. This one, I knitted. You can get this to anyone. It's made out of red heart yarn. I made this for my mom for Christmas. And it looks like this, and it's a French beret. Also, if you have a knitting friend, you can give them another project bag. And I have another project bag. And then if you have a person you know who lives in cold weather, you can give them these hat things. Um, I got this pattern off of fleecefun.com. And they're ear warmers, so if you live in a cold climate, they're very good for that, and they're made out of fleece. And this is a cowl. Um, I have another cowl that I made. It is turquoise, and this is sea stitch. And this is made out of my own hand spun. It's scarlet fleece, 100% Peruvian wool, and it's Captain Midnight colorway. So this is a, also a very great present for people who live in cold climates. Also, preemie baby hats, if you know a person who has a newborn, you can use it as scrap yarn. And then I have some placemats. Um, I got this off of the Crafty Gemini um, YouTube channel. It looks like this. It has a pocket, and you can use it out of any um, fabric, like cotton. And also, this one, which I made out of ladybugs. And now it looks like in the back. And then, the biggest project I made this year is this shawl. It is a lace shawl. It's the Wendy Johnson Mystery Shawl. I did some modifications to it to make it um, stay on your shoulders better. That was also made for my mom. Um, this beret, I knitted another beret. This is out of Fisherman's Line Brand Yarn. And then another project bag, which is Owl's, and it's zipper. And then if you have a baby who you know someone had a baby or you're having a baby yourself, you can make them a baby blanket. This is this is sheep. And then on the back it is satin. And it's very warm also. You can also make burp cloths. And that can be a set if you want to. Um you can make, if you know someone who likes purses or stuff, you can make them little wallets like this. This one I made just out of some scrap Halloween fabric. And then with that baby set, with the blanket and the burp cloth, you can also make a onesie. And you can just iron on with some heat and bond, um, an elephant, or anything that looks like a child design. You can also make this scarf. It's lace. And it looks like this. Um, you can also make people socks for Christmas or any type of holiday. Um, you can make also more placemats. This is just a Halloween placemat that I just made like in October. If you have a dog, you can make them um, dog scarves that can go around 
their necks and tie. I usually recommend cotton because dogs are very messy, so you can wash them. And also more of those wallets. And those are quilted so they can stay um, nice and they look nice. And then more dog bandanas that go around their neck. Also, another shawl. The shawl is the Lacey Baptist uh, shawlette that's on Roundry. And it can go around your neck. I don't want to do it right now because I have my hat on. Also, you can make them tube socks if you want to get socks done. And if you want to do the afterthought heel socks, you can make them the socks also. And they look like this. Or like Thanksgiving colors. And I just finished these. Um, more project bag. You can make people if you know a knitter or anyone. Um, you can make socks again. If these are 100% wool, so if you know one who lives in a cold climate, you can make them that also. If you know someone who lives in a hot climate, you can make socks, but there are special yarns out there that you can use to um, make it make cool feet. I know there's one yarn called Lauren's Laces, I think, that can make your feet cold, colder. I don't know. I heard that somewhere. And also, if you want to make somewhat a rag quilt. This is made out of flannel. And this is all types of different variations of pinks. And this is also very warm. I can make a hand knitted blanket which it takes a long time to knit it, but the results is good because it is also very warm. You can sit in your rocking chair or on your couch and knit or do whatever. And also, if you want to knit something for yourself for Christmas, you can knit yourself a sweater or a cardigan. And it looks like this. This is the tap Z's cardigan, I believe. And it looks like this. So I'll just leave it on for the rest of the video. And then another project bag, if you know a knitter or so. Wall hangings that can say nice things on it, like let it snow. Or this is called a, what is it called again? It's a, like a bed jacket for a bed jacket. It's a bed jacket and it's made out of satin. I made this for my grandma for Christmas. Um, and then if you know someone who likes decorative stuff, you can make them decorative pillows. I got this off the DIY Dish website. And it's made out of fleece. And you can make bigger sizes if you want to. And then another head thing. Another ear warmer. And then last but not least, again, creamy baby hats. So I hope you um, like this video. I hope you take some advice on what you can knit for your friends or family for Christmas or for other holidays. Um, so I'll see you next week for a, another video. Or this week I'm doing two videos at once, so I'll see you next week again. So I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you next week again. So, bye.